Hello and welcome back to Building on a Budget Models. I'm Thomas and today we're going to be painting a 3D printed resin Piaggio Vespa scooter. Now as you can see here unfortunately one of the brakes uh, had snapped off um, but generally speaking it's very well molded. I believe this was 3D printed. I bought it from GP Modeling Shop. There's a link in the description down below. It's very nicely detailed and doesn't have any mold seams, but there are some rough edges. Remember to wear respirator if you're sanding resin as the dust particles can be very harmful. It was first primed in fine white from Tamiya and then it was painted in gloss yellow spray can uh, from Humbrol. I then started to paint it using some aqua paints from Ravel. This is just the matte black using a broad brush on the seat. Decided not to mask any of these, so I just needed to be very, very careful. I did two coats of the black, and I'm pretty pleased with how it looked when it was cured. Then went on to do the black on the handlebars. Just trying to be as careful as possible with this brush. And then it was time for some of the silver parts, such as the brake handles and some of the chrome trim. This is again with uh, aqua paint from Ravel. Now for the wheels, I chose to leave them yellow, but I chose to do the centers of them in silver. And of course, any mechanical detail that you can see under there also needed to be silver. It's got supports for both the front and rear wheel and an exhaust on this, which is a nice little detail. The tail light I did all in silver and then I would add some red later on once that was cured. I used this rubber black from Tamiya for the tires. As I wasn't masking the hubs, I just needed to be very, very careful and used a narrow brush for this. Pretty happy with that. For the tail light here, I used this red Sharpie over the top of the silver. However, you could use transparent red paint instead, should you want to. Pretty happy with how that looked, nice and shiny. For the headlight at the front, once it was all painted silver, I then went over the lens with some clear gloss, just to make it look a little bit more glass-like. Now, I needed to do the Piaggio logo and this Vespa logo here. For the Piaggio badge, I used one of these blue adhesive gems, which I got from a shop called The Works. And then for the Vespa logo, I tried printing off my own, but the real one is chrome and uh, it looked too big. I could have printed it off again, but I just wasn't happy with how it looked. So I decided to remove the decal. And instead I came back with this very thin Molotow chrome pen and just did a little Vespa shaped squiggle, starting with a V and I'm pretty happy with how that looks, especially as it's chrome as opposed to the black decal that I had printed. Let me know what you think down below. And finally, I just added this decal which from the spare box to the number plate on the back, and there it was finished. Here it is, as it's 124th scale, it fits perfectly into my little garage diorama here. Thanks a lot for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you soon.